The streets around Ashley Cumlin's house are all named after women in her family. Let's see, there's Jacqueline Drive, there's Mary Lynn Drive, and of course there's Jill Court, which happens to be named after her mother. As an athlete, Ashley's done a lot of training on that particular street, but new at 9, Jen Lada explains why soon she'll be crossing hundreds of thousands of streets, and it's all for Jill. Good. Keep it up, ladies. Keep pushing it out. At her daily boot camp classes. Nice job, ladies. We're working that cardio. This should be hard. Ashley Cumlin teaches strength and dedication. First thing you're going to be doing here with your partner is up and overs on this beam. And perseverance. And passion. Switch it out with your partner when you get back. The 25-year-old wants her clients to have fun. Good reverse lunge. Try and walk all the way through. But the also appreciate their abilities. Feel blessed to be able to move and to exercise. Right leg the whole Only time. Pulling right up on that quad. With the bicep curl. Working those this legs. back here. Sideways, duck, and when you come up, that's when you punch. Put the sink with your feet. There you go. Now put your hands on the sink here. Because not everyone can, at least not the way they used to. Jill Cumlin's eyes twinkle and she seems to always be smiling. Got 10 more seconds. Finish it up. Come on. Years ago, had something like her daughter's boot camps been around, Make sure to put that weight on the front hand. She probably would have been there, stretching and sweating with all the other ladies. You don't feel it on the back of your arms? Take your legs farther away from you. But her physical abilities have diminished over the years due to a decades long battle with multiple sclerosis. Actually, for him and MS as long as I have, I'm doing good. <laughs> and you can walk and talk. Mom, do you need it louder? Thank you. She's had it my whole life. It's always been a memory there. As Jill's movements and abilities were gradually taken away, Ashley came to appreciate her own athleticism all the more. As a sprightly youngster, she certainly kept her parents on their toes. This is me and three of my best friends. We all got on the wave at the same time. She just was really good at moving. I remember coaches always trying to make us run extra laps to wear us out or punish us, and I just kept running. I just always had this desire to do an extra lap. Drive those elbows back to the sky. It's a work ethic go. she's no. carried on, and one that will benefit her as she takes on an unbelievable <laughs> challenge. I was thinking about planning this major road trip. Right foot down to Kansas City, and then go up to Des Moines. That most would Chicago. consider absurd and impossible. Uh, good friend in Indianapolis, so we're gonna cut straight down to Indianapolis through Columbus, Ohio. And the ding came when I was thinking, oh, I can do this road trip, but even if I can drive it, I can run it. So that's exactly what she's going to do. Ashley Cumlin is going to run across the country all by herself, more than 3,200 miles, with a cause close to her heart always on her mind. If you're going to run around America, I thought I'd do it for mom's charity and raise money and awareness about multiple sclerosis. When she said she was going to do this MS thing, I thought, oh, that's really neat. And when I thought of it, I was like, duh, why, why didn't I think of this sooner? It just seems so obvious. The trip will test every ounce of Ashley's will. She plans to run 20 miles a day to start, then eventually 30. I think that once I get over the Rocky Mountains, I can um, get to the, um, yeah, <laughs> once I get over there, <laughs> I can get through the, uh, the Midwest a lot quicker than 20 miles a day. 20 miles is going to be like, bare minimum. It'll be like running a marathon every day for about six months. But Ashley exudes such an enduring optimism. You not only believe she can do it, but also that she can make a difference. What if this is that tipping point? And they figure out a way to make people with MS function better, or they come up with a cure or something that can backtrack the actual progression of the disease. Upper abs, sit up. And then taking those feet straight up to the sky, up and down, nice and controlled. As Ashley gears up for her cross-country quest, she continues her boot camp classes. Keep breathing. You're almost there. Finding their good preparation for her incredible adventure. And done. But she's also found it's pretty easy to show strength and perseverance, to teach strength and perseverance, when you don't have to go far 
to find a shining and smiling example of strength and perseverance. It's a big idea, but I can do it. Anyone can do it. You can, you can walk or run as far as you want as long as you have the time. In Brookfield, Jen Latta, Fox Sports. It's a great story. Ashley has set up MS Run the U.S. as a nonprofit organization, but she's still looking for donations and support to help complete her mission. So if you'd like to contribute or learn more about the Cumberland family, just head to our website and check out the links page. Anyone who's ever driven across country, driven across state, knows what she's in for. It's a big country out there, but the good news is hopefully a lot of people will hear this story and say, you know what, got to do more about this disease, got to learn more, got to learn to fight it, got to do it. I, I just salute her courage. Oh, absolutely. The Rocky Mountains, mm -hmm. <laughs> she's going to run. It's, that's unbelievable. And, and then 20 miles a day through the Midwest should be nothing. 20 miles, right? she said right. it's nothing. Good for her. <laughs> wow.